I sing of the county of pasties and cream, of filtered and herring that sparkle and gleam in the dear old county of Cornwall, the land of pasties and cream, the land of the miners and fishermen bold, the land of the smugglers in stories of old, where men go a courting and maids are not called. In the dear old county of Cornwall, Cornwall, Cornwall. For 12 years, songs like this resounded at Cornwall's best-known folk club, Piper's Folk at Batalloc, where Brenda ran the show. But for the past 14 years, she's been on the road as a professional, taking her music to various corners of the world and with 25 albums to her credit. Back home at Ding Dong near Penzance to enjoy her birthday with husband John and the family, She's currently planning projects as diverse as a tour of Nova Scotia with a Celtic chorale and another with the French National Jazz Orchestra. In fact, it's in France that Brenda Wooten has achieved a level of national popularity that's difficult for her Cornish fans to grasp. She's played everywhere, from rock festivals to the grandest concert halls of Paris, and appears on French TV quiz shows with the status of a kind of grandma superstar. My career up until now, my professional career has always been in France. I'm sad about that. I would like to think that I could work in Britain, but I'm working a scene that doesn't exist in Britain, um, i.e. that every, every town in France, small and big, possess a fine theatre, and that the French people generally like to go to live performances of things. The television has not got the hold that it has in this country, and yet at the same time it's because I've done a lot of television in France that people know me. Today most people in Cornwall know Brenda through her Sunday request show on BBC Radio Cornwall. So popular it attracts about 300 letters a week. We put a lot of work about it, both John, my husband and myself, and it's again, it's not my programme, it's it's everybody's program and so the most important thing is to read out their names and addresses and why they're writing and their dogs and their cats and if there's not much time I'll cut the music but I'll never leave a letter out I realize that when you see the you can tell it's obviously been a lot of labor to write a letter to me for someone some people find it very difficult but they want to tell someone they love them there's a lot of love for Brenda from her Cornish audience too, but Cornwall's not likely to claim her back for a while yet. When her touring days do finally end though, what then? It was proposed to me all long before I turned professional that I perhaps might take a hand at writing. And uh, I'll, I won't say I'm going to write a book. What I will say, I'll try and think of how I would construct the going about of writing a, a book. <laughs> now, one curious thing's happened, just as if to celebrate your birthday, we understand you've got a hit record in Japan. <laughs> now, surely you can't have planned that. Uh, no, I didn't plan it. It was about a year ago that Francis Lay, the very famous uh, French composer who has written wonderful love songs, and I met, and he said that, you know, he'd like to write a couple of songs for me. And then they sent me a cassette with the words, and it was all about walking. And uh, I rang them up, I said, I don't want to do this, this is not... And they said, oh, this isn't for you, this is for Japan. The Japanese people are anxious to have a song to promote walking for good health. And I went over, and within 24 hours, I'd actually made the record. It was quite a shock for me. And a week later, it had gone to Japan. That was last um, October. And within a month, it was a hit, and it's still, still a hit over there.